Ladies and gents, welcome back. There's nothing that'll earn you more respect in the world than giving yourself your very own cool nickname. The elites, as they like to refer to themselves, are meeting this week in Davos. I'm, of course, referring to the World Economic Forum, which is made up of people who have made it in the marketplace by making themselves billionaires or doing it by becoming a rock star and assuming that they know everything or perhaps embezzling their way into power and wealth through government authority. We have the World Economic Forum meeting in Davos to tell the world how they should run their lives. Now, we have a lot of journalists over there this time because it's no longer a conspiracy theory. We can actually discuss this. Now, <laughs> some of them having a hard time. So watch conservative journalists be de appears to be detained at the World Economic Forum. This, of course, is American conservative journalist Jack Sobick said he was detained by armed World Economic Forum police officers. Apparently, the World Economic Forum has their own police service now. For the, this is in Gene this is in uh, Switzerland, sorry, in Davos. Um, it's not they're not calling on the Davos police. They have their own police. Monday, while uh, com uh, covering the forum in Davos, Switzerland, Sobic was who is affiliated with the Human Event Events captured his detainment on footage and posted it to social media. He can be seen outside a Swiss restaurant when officers wearing WEF uniforms surrounded him in order to stop filming. Family members of Sobic began filming the incident, getting in the faces of the officers and asking them questions, Sobic said in an interview posted to social media. Well, we can see the what happened here. Excuse me, can I ask you why you're detaining this journalist? Can you put the phone away, please? Uh, can I ask you why you're detaining this journalist? I don't answer your question. Is it uh, not, uh, we're not able to away. report here? Please put Excuse the phone me? away. Okay. Uh, can I ask you guys yeah, why you can, you're being can you Yeah, can you um, please stop filming? Then we How, can talk. Uh, why do I need to stop filming? Because I ask you to. It's, the per it's my personal right because I don't like to be filmed. Okay. And it's a right in Switzerland. Um, if I don't want to but be filmed. But can I ask why he's being detained then? I won't point the camera at you then. I won't film you, but I would like to know why this journalist is being detained on public property. We're not, we're, what, what's detained? Uh, can you explain How the come word? he's being surrounded right now? Is he uh -huh. allowed to leave the area? Yeah, we're, we're just um, making a normal police control uh, because, you know, it's WEF, everything is, is very sensitive. Is there a reason sensitive. he specifically was targeted? Uh, there is a reason because we we have to have a reason to 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 uh, so control a, a what person. What was the reason? What was he doing? I don't have to tell you that. Why why you were, why are you asking me that? Uh, because this is uh, you know he's uh, there's many journalists here and I want to yeah, know why know. he specifically is being detained. There there is a reason, but uh, everything is clear now and um, we're about to leave in just a few seconds. Thank you. Okay. Um, yeah, could you please now, uh, can I ask you please to delete your, your <laughs> can I ask you to delete it now, as she asks. Now, of course, they don't like the attention that they're getting. They, they were happy to have it be considered a conspiracy theory for all this time. Uh, but now that now that we see and the world is, is, is able to recognize that world leaders are members of this event and go to it. Every year in Davos, they uh, <laughs> there's they're getting a lot more attention than they used to get. Uh, here we have the minute they realized that they were becoming more of a thing, uh, more journalists were started to take attention of what's going on. They immediately ran back into their police vans and took off like 30 seconds of their arriving. He said, and "This was uh, Jack Sobic talking about this event." So as soon as um, it sounded like a bullying tactic from these um, World Economic Police characters. So we have uh, here, it, clearly this is this is not a um, a, a police officer of Davos. This is the World Economic Police. And we had another Twitter user posting a previous year's uh, police badge 
here. Um, also, a lot of people pointing out that they're using goats. I wonder if there is any uh, symbolism to that and, and some sort of uh, prism here. But not sure. Not sure what they were up to there. But there are many other journalists, uh, such as uh, Andrew Lawton, who uh, from, from True North, Canadian uh, uh, publisher, public, publication here, uh, and he's, he's started to show off some of the creepiness that takes place at Davos here. And we have here Alibaba Group President uh, J. Michael Evans boasts to the World Economic Forum about the development of an individual carbon footprint tracker to monitor what you buy, what you eat, and where and how you travel. We're developing through technology an ability for consumers to measure their own carbon footprint. What does that mean? What does That's, that mean? Where are they traveling? How are they traveling? What are they eating? What are they consuming on the platform? So individual carbon footprint tracker. Mm. Stay tuned. We don't have it operational yet, but this is something that we're working on. We're developing. Yeah, this is something they're working on. So you can keep track of what you consume and how much of it you consume. It's only going to be you keeping track of that. Is that right? Well, <laughs> here's, a, here's um, um, Majit Nawaz, who is on Joe Rogan's podcast talking about how digital digital uh, currencies are being developed for the use of tracking citizens and actually limiting what people can buy using these digital currencies. Digital currencies, yep. CBDCs. Central bank digital currencies could be a digital version of money, a bit like a digital banknote that could be used alongside... Right, so that's the guy who runs our economy in the UK. His name's the Chancellor of the Exchequer. And here is the article. Bank of England tells ministers to intervene on digital currency programming. Yeah, And here's a quote from the article. This is in the Telegraph, the one he pulled up. Okay. But it was behind a paywall, so I'll just read the quote. Digital cash could be programmed to ensure it is only spent on essentials or goods which an employer or government deems to be sensible. Holy shit. Now, I'm going to... So this, that was Majit Nawaz on uh, Joe Rogan's podcast. Uh, interestingly enough, I had to rip that from somebody else's YouTube channel. This was from uh, Anthony Pompliano because it's actually really hard to find that clip right now. It's really hard to find that clip. It's also hard to find... Majit Nawaz on social media. I, I couldn't find any record of him. I used to follow him on Twitter. He is no longer on Twitter. Now, what are some of the other things that are creepy that are going on over at Davos right now? We have Pfizer CEO Albert Bola explains Pfizer's new tech to, to the Davos crowd. Ingestible pills a pill with a tiny chip that sends a wireless signal to relevant authorities when the pharmaceutical has been digested. Imagine the compliance he drools at. It is a basically biological chip that it is in the tablet. And once you take the tablet and dissolves into your stomach, it sends a signal that you took the tablet. So imagine the applications of that, the compliance. Uh, the insurance companies to know that the medicines that patients should take they do take them uh, it is uh, fascinating what happens in in uh, this field it is yeah it's fascinating it's fascinating what happens in medicine when the medicine makers are no longer working on technology for medicine but for tracking whether or not you take that medicine uh it's a very interesting and creepy 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 development coming from the World Economic Forum in Davos. But hey, I'm going to leave it with you guys. <laughs> what do you guys think about this whole concept of a bunch of people who nickname themselves the elite uh, getting together and talking behind closed doors about how the world is going to be run in the future and influencing uh, representatives and trying to go against the ideas of democracy all well touting democratic principles. Anyway, I'll leave you with that. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, subscribe, hit that like button, and we'll see you in the next video. Keep on trucking.